Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, hi, I'm Mercury. So I have actually finished my first book of 2024. Can you believe it? I, I got through it so fast. It, it really surprised me how quickly I finished my first book of the year. I'm like, uh, maybe setting the goal at 15 for this year was the right thing to do. I'm uh, off to the races, so to say. So since I got through that book already, I figure book review time, right? So Mercury, what was the first book that you read of 2024? Well, my friends, first off, full disclosure, I actually won this book in a contest on Goodreads. So sometimes I'll have like different uh, publishers will do like giveaways and you can enter to win. And as luck would have it, I won this book and it like automatically got downloaded to my Kindle library. And you know, I was like, okay, cool. And usually the ones that I, I enter the contest for are ones that I have interest in anyway. So this was something that I was like, thought thought would be good for me to, to read regardless. And I happened to win the contest, so awesome. But Mercury, what book was it? The name of the book was The First Wizard and it was written by Jeffrey Koenig, K-O-H-A-N-E-K. So this book sort of takes place in a realm where there's both humans and magical beings. And when I say magical beings, I'm talking elves, dwarves, um, dragons, griffins, rocks, rocks being like the huge birds, um, all sorts of creatures that are able to either tap into and use magic or their existence was created by magic. So it takes place in a world where these things exist. And, you know, if you're familiar with D&D, like Dungeons and Dragons, like it is that type of a story. And it is basically a tale of unlikely and reluctant heroes that end up forming a party and going on an adventure. Um, as always, I'm trying to do this spoiler free, so I don't want to give away too much because this was definitely an enjoyable read. This is definitely one that I would recommend if you like these type of stories to go out and read. It will bring you right into the world. The descriptives are enough to make you be able to envision the forests or the keep or the troll or I don't remember if it was a troll or an orc. It was a magical creature. Or or the unicorn. Or you know, like it it describes it enough that your mind's eye can see it. And in doing so, it almost makes you feel like you're part of the party. Right? Like it it doesn't set you up like the narrative is not your character. That is not what I'm saying at all. But it brings you into the story in a, in a way where it's like, you sort of feel like a fly on the wall going on this adventure with them. And that's kind of what I felt like. Like I felt like when these, when these characters were struggling, I was struggling with them. When these characters were celebrating, I was celebrating with them. And it gave me that type of a feeling, right? That type of a connection to these characters. And I, I really enjoyed and appreciated that aspect of it. Like any good story, there are struggles and strife. And it is about not only overcoming them, because yes, that's part of it, but how you face them, how you grow and develop, and how the person that these characters were at the beginning of the story is is not who they were when the story ended and how much growth and development those characters went through and the arc of what they went through over the course of this story and what those challenges they faced, how they changed the traje trajectory of their lives. 
and that was like really awesome to watch and watch this character development unfold. Also, I have to check, but I, I would think this is part of a series um, of novels because there were a lot of setups for future events that were not fully explained. Um, there is a lot going on and I'm like, what about this thing? What about that character? What's going to happen with this character that, that we just left on a cliffhanger, right? Like, there are some things where I want to know more. I want to know more. It's a, a good telltale sign of a good book. It leaves you wanting some more. But now I have to go and find out if there's a sequel because I want, I want more. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was really enjoyable. Definitely, if you like those D&D, &D, like Dungeons and Dragons, kind of mystical, magical environments um, with all these mythical beings and the magic that they possess and, you know, all that comes with it and, you know, developing a party, like a group of people party and, you know, the camaraderie that comes with that and then going off on an adventure and the shenanigans that come with that. <laughs> and, you know, just all the trials and the rewards for the trials. And <sighs> it, was, it was great. It was great. I went on an adventure reading this and I finished it in, in record time. Like I finished this book in like a week. And for me, that is rather rapid. So yeah, good book. Um, I, I will give that, I, I will rate it five unicorn horns. Yeah, I, I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. Um, I am a fan of the unicorn. So <laughs> that is a good rating from me. So yeah, 2024 is off to a great literary start. Um, I have so many books on my reading list of like, books that I'm interested in reading. I have two books that I'm waitlisted for at the library. So when those come up, excellent, but got to keep finding books to read in the interim. Um, the library is a great resource. So many books via the library is, is my primary way of getting them. Um, the library has like, um, it, it used to be called Overdrive and they switched the app. It's now a uh, Libby is the new app that they use. Um, and you can access ebooks right from your e-reader. You, you don't physically have to go to the library to access library books these days. So that's awesome. Um, you know, it's like I finish one book, I can return it right from this. I could take out my next book right from this. I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to be like, oh no, I finished it at 10 o'clock at night. I have to wait till tomorrow to go and get a new book. No, I want a new book. If it's available, great. And yeah, I, I think there are certain things about like, you know, the, the era that we live in and sort of this quote unquote living in the future um, that are just amazing. And that to me is amazing. It's like, having library access at the, you know, the, the tap of a, a touch screen, right? <laughs> like that, that is pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome. So I guess with that, I am done for the day and on to my next book. And until next time, stay inspired by everyone. Take care. <laughs>